Speaking of parties, it was a big night recently. The legends of Local 10 all came together for one big night, remembering some of the biggest stories that South Florida has ever seen. The names you might remember, like um, Dwight Lauderdale mm -hmm. and Vicki Frazier. Yeah, and you might remember <laughs> Don No, Susan Candiotti. The list goes on. Former Local 10 investigative reporter Connie Hicks. She shows you the big night. More than 150 people showed up for what's likely to be a once-in-a-lifetime reunion. That's a familiar sighting. From the county courthouse. News anchor Dwight Lauderdale with meteorologist Don No. We all shared a common bond. We were young people in the business. We wanted to be the best that we could be. And we really became a family in, in doing that. But it was sold here. On a family including reporter Vicki Frazier with photographers doing what photographers do. Yes, we were thought you had been killed. They thought that I Investigative reporter Clarence Jones reminiscing with his former intern, Tammy Leader. My, my memoir, the title of my book, is they're gonna murder you. <laughs> because people were constantly telling me that. That they were gonna kill you. Yeah. Always, always. He was getting murder threats all the time. I could jump on a shrimp boat and go cover the Mariel boat lift because we had the time and the budget. Good evening, I'm Ann Bishop. The Ann Bishops, the Dwight Lauderdales, the Glenn Rinkers, they put us on the map. Through it all. A map remembered more than 40 years later by Richard Schlesinger, who would become a correspondent for CBS News. The most amazing news stories, one after another after another, national news stories. And so it was like trial by fire. So a lot of these living legends, yeah, you saw them on camera, but there's a lot more who were behind the cameras. These are the ones that made the assignments, produced the shows, shot the videos, edited the videos. And most of the stories, or at least some of the stories were fun, but frankly, a lot of them were not. Live, local, late breaking. Former news director Steve Wasserman, after 45 years in news and executive management, still remembers the 1980 riots in Miami's Overtown. I put Ann Bishop on the set we didn't have any live shots. It was a you know earlier time in our industry. And I said, Ann, go on television and calm the people down. Make sure the community knows that you're gonna give them the right information. And she went on television, and I to this day believe that she was largely responsible for calming the nerves of South Florida during that very difficult time. The officials are not seeing some things they would- Peggy Lewis would go on to teach journalism to college students. The news stories in South Florida during the time that we were there were unbelievable. Everything came to South Florida. Everything came, to, it ended in South Florida. Ted Bundy came to South Florida. The cocaine wars, police corruption, riots. Before heading to CNN, Susan Candiotti spent a week riding with Miami homicide detectives. Susan Candiotti, Channel 10 Eyewitness News. Right before I arrived in Miami, that the homicide rate was 600 people uh, a year, I believe it was. It was the worst it had ever been. And there was also beauty. The first story that I covered when I got to Miami was Kristoff's surrounding the islands with pink polypropylene. The entire city was was fixated on when this rhinoceros was going to have a baby. And I love that story. And Maury Alter made a career of doing fun stories. And I look around this room and I just can't believe the enormous amount of talent that we had both in front of the camera, behind the camera, and throughout the whole building at 3900 Biscayne Boulevard. We were a family and we had fun at the time. I'm Connie Hicks. And I'm signing off because we were once Color Vision 10, and then Newswatch 10, and then Channel 10 Eyewitness News, and finally, Connie Hicks, Local 10 News. Oh. <laughs>